very bizarre to me. I've never seen this before. I'm concerned. It's in our uh, room. This is in our room? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Never been here. Never it is first here. time for both of us. Yeah, yeah. never even yeah. been to San Diego. Oh wow! Not even like not down here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, big day. A lot of big stuff day. Thrown at you guys now? Yes, yeah. yeah, it's been crazy. Yeah, I'm so hungry. It's, it's cool. I mean, it's it's not actually an easy show to talk about, but it's an easy like it, we we have. I don't know. I feel like we have a good vibe. Yeah, right we're having fun. I mean, it's really fun. To be honest. Yeah, it is. We haven't we've been in rooms like this all day. We haven't been out in the freaking mayhem. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, and, we're, yeah, yeah. and actually, we're going to see a lot of the show for the first time. At the panel? Yeah. <laughs> no, they're just showing the pilot, I thought. No, they're showing, an, they're showing a sizzle. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, I'm Tiger. Swole. And we're from the year 2162. And we come back to 2017 thinking we're finding our savior. Uh, because of something we did to try to figure out who our savior would be so we could go back and stop something before it happens and so that we cannot live in constant battle and fighting and complete destruction in the future. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a, it's, it's a, it's a pretty good goal. Yeah, we're learning. It's tricky. <laughs> it's really it's tricky. It's a really tricky one. Because things that seem kind of inconsequential, I mean, I guess it's just like that, but there's so many things that happen in the show. I know, you can't say one thing without, just like time travel. I think you know, I made one fucks everything up. Yeah. Well, he was in Preacher. Yeah, I was doing Preacher with them, and um, I came came over to yeah. shoot the pilot for this in the middle of the season for Preacher, um, and uh, and then and then they yeah, I mean, there's no, and then they killed me off that show. <laughs> Must have wanted you on this show. Yeah, I feel like that's what it was. And came to this one, yeah. yeah. And I um I did. A very early table read of the Disaster Artist with uh, Seth and all those kids, and then I had a very small part in the Disaster Artist, which I'm not—I haven't seen it, but I'm pretty sure it was cut, which is fine. Um, as an actor, you're just what like, oh, okay. Why do you think that? Though? Because like, someone saw it, was like, oh, I didn't see you in there, and I was like, oh. You were just so you were like unrecognized. I did look very different, but I don't know. It's not that. I'm pretty sure. I actually don't care. It was such an amazing experience to do that with 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 Franco and Franco, little Francos. And um, and then Seth. So I think through that, and then I think I did one other table read with them for some other project they're doing, and then it was just like they came to me for this. Very cool. Oh, I was I've been I had been wanting a role like this, like truly been like desperate for something. I've been wanting to do action and this kind of like badass so, uh, for, since the beginning. Yeah. So yeah. I'm. Really, I was really like I read it and I was like, "Your fucking name's Tiger." <laughs> Come on. Yeah. So, no. There was a moment I think we were shooting this epi the second episode um, when we were when we were behind the thing that we yes, built. Yes, 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 yes. We were behind that one thing that we built. And we yeah. we have our guns and we were just before a take. I think one of us. I think you looked at me and you were like, "This is like this is so cool. This is like what I've always wanted to do." We're just sitting there with our guns about to go, and you know. It's like, yeah. It's like, and they're futuristic guns. These things, our prop department or whoever designed those Incredible. things, they're fucking insane. They're so cool. I think, and more. I mean, the, so much more. This actually. character is is just both our characters are so well developed and so cool and so interesting and so um, fucking badass that it's just so great. It's so fun to watch him do stuff and it's fun to do what I do. And then they have their vulnerabilities too, yeah, exactly. which you don't sure. discover until you get into the season a little bit. Right. You start to really discover that, and uh, that's what's really that's what was surprising because yeah. I went into this thing like, how is this going to be compelling? For a full, you know, thirteen yeah. episodes, yeah. this character and no, both it of is. them. I mean, for sure. I mean, we have such complex, uh, like just intricate ways of viewing the world, and then how that all gets blown up as we travel back to a time where there's no constant war, at least not where we are. And it's um, it's kind of amazing to see the journey for each of us and the arc of each character. 
now. For me for especially, yeah. yeah. I mean, for my as, tapping into the vulnerability of me and what I understand even a woman to be, truly, and what that means to be a vulnerable woman and, and all that stuff like that, that's been taken over here in the future because I'm just kind of like, okay, well, that's you're a warrior. You don't get to be a woman. You get to be this. And so then that whole concept is like so crazy. On the, I mean, we did a lot of fight training, a lot of, we learned a lot of the choreography, obviously, because we did a lot of it, um, but, uh, uh, yeah, and then you pick up skills as you go, and then, you know, just, and then a lot of it, too, is, like, you kind of have to take care of yourself, so you, you look at how, okay, I've got this weird weapon, what's a cool way to hold it, let me do a little research, you know, it's just, like, Actory <laughs> stuff. Actor stuff. But that's fun, that's, like, some of the most fun stuff. For sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. And it's, it, I think it's funny because I watched the first two episodes yeah. and I'm like, oh, we've evolved so much. And my voice has changed a little by like the third episode. Yeah. In a good way, though. Like, we're, I mean, but I guess it makes sense because we're, when we land in 2017, we're so hopeful, even though we're very, like, you know, like, edgy and kind of like not trusting anything we're very hopeful and then as we realize our hope is fading we're back to being very hard again so yeah. I guess it makes sense yeah 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 for sure mm -hmm. yeah yeah he's one of my commandos yeah she I'm in charge of demolitions she's the I'm the leader the leader of the, the resistance yeah I, I've, I've decided. I, we give different answers every time. But this is this is going to be the same. I'd go. I would go back to my childhood. Would you change anything? Yes. <laughs> I'd change. But things. you would. But you would go back as an outsider and look at yourself as a child and change. Yeah. Or no. You would go back to be yourself as a child. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know. So no. I don't but if I knew what I know now, I'd go back as myself. And then see yourself as a child and be like, but with hey. this brain. <laughs> so I'd be 36 year old me. You try like to you volunteer to babysit yourself. Yeah. Oh, but you would be no, a I'd be me. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. Thank you. There we go. And I would just make different choices. <laughs> I'd go ride a dinosaur. <laughs> Why? But they would kill you. No, it wouldn't. Why? <laughs> Oh, why would for you, you it would be different. <laughs> why do you assume but, that? Why, why would it not kill? Are you a dinosaur whisperer that we <laughs> don't know about? We don't know. There's a lot of we don't know about. There's a lot. I mean, we okay, don't know right, how we're right, going right. to interact with this. All right, all right, all right. Um, I spent an entire Christmas Eve once with a babysitter named Katie, and we played Super Mario Brothers on like the very first Nintendo, and that's it. That's all I've ever done. And I played Pac-Man, but that's it for me. I've never played any other, I literally have never played any other video game. That's it. iPhone games? Nope. I don't I play, have any I played games a few on games. I, I played a few when I knew the show was going to go to the season, I started to play it just to get familiar, but I was never a gamer or anything. It's cool. It's fun. I get too obsessive. I mean, like, I can't even knit. I like sports. I like baseball. <laughs> like, I yeah, like, I've been playing the show recently, actually, and that's fun. It's a baseball game. Okay. okay. I mean, yeah, no, I actually we used to play hockey, hockey games. Like, yeah, the video go. game hockey games as a kid. Yeah, that's true. Three games. Three games. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can change that when you go back in time. You like, Our goal, video game. the like goal, the coolest thing, them. but the coolest thing ever would be this show becomes huge and they make the video game, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what you play. I might play that. I might play that. Oh, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.